On the evening of June 15, 1914, a three-hour violent tempest struck Paris with an intensity that suggested the sky might be falling. Instead, 500 square feet at the junction of the Rue de Beauté and Faubourg Saint-Honoré abruptly heaved and collapsed without warning. Pedestrians who'd taken refuge under the awning of a nearby cafe were swallowed into the depths to their death, Compounding the misery citywide were a series of gas explosions detonated by the breaking of gas mainlines. The damage and 20 fatalities exposed the vulnerability of a city constructed upon hollow ground. Paris is a honeycomb underground with enormous cavities composed of former limestone excavations, tunnels, catacombs, sewer lines, and metro and railroad routings unperceivable above ground. The 1914 collapse was attributed to the weakness of the underlying soil and rock compromised by severe flooding four years earlier. The structural integrity remains vulnerable to dangerous sinkholes even today. The first major catastrophe was recorded in 1774 during the reign of Louis XVI. A sinkhole engulfed within seconds pavement, houses, horses, carts, and people. The site of the sinkhole was appropriately named Rue d'Enfer, Street of Hell. The king responded to the ensuing panic by creating an intersection unit to map and regulate the existing quarries for the public safety. In the mid-1780s, a movement began to accommodate the need for storing Paris's dead. The earliest burial grounds from the Roman era were located on the southern outskirts of the city. Over the centuries, millions of bodies would congest cemeteries within the city boundaries, predominantly near the central marketplace of Les Halles. The solution became to fill the quarry voids with the bones of the deceased. Many were arranged in patterns and rows by skulls and various skeletal bones. The creation of the Paris catacombs continued throughout the 19th century. The visiting public has access to their handiwork via organized tours.